Good morning. We're so happy you're here. We vlog every day. So if you like this video, we hope you'll return tomorrow. And we're gonna have a couple of exciting days coming up soon. Excuse arsenic and all lace on TV. Um, it is officially my due date, October 28th, 2020. Um, hopefully this little baby will be joining us soon. I have been putting off cleaning the floors for probably a week or so. And so I'm gonna do it and hopefully it'll be the trick for me to go into labor. Is this the first time I'm in the vlog? I think this is only the second clip. Oh, you said you, the way you presented it to me that you started the vlog, it made it seem like you went on this whole heroic adventure earlier. <laughs> So it was just an intro. I went like, to literally a twelve hours ago. I went to a meeting at like one at like two o'clock. But I went to a meeting and I went into James's room and I was in meetings from two o'clock until six o'clock. Homegirl has been in this room since like one fifteen, one thirty. She was knocked out. Cold. Like I woke in here I woke up <laughs> I walked in here with Eve and Sarah was like I like full on dreamt. Full that on. was like four hours. That was half a night. That was more. It was than like a, three. It was like four hours. I was in now. And now we don't know what to do tonight. And we're going to go get food, but we don't know what food to get. Sarah wanted to see this clip um, of The Office. Spoiler alert, I'm not in labor. Spoiler alert, Sarah's <laughs> never going into labor. <laughs> hey, I mean, I'm exactly 40 weeks Yeah. Today. Spoiler alert, I made like... Spoiler alert. Spoiler, spoiler alert, alert. I meant to say spoiler Nick from Nick Miller and the gang. <laughs> New girl. Spoiler, I, you have an actual spoiler because I have one too. Yeah, I made a, like a <laughs> noise by James and it freaked him out and yeah. he did not like it. So I'm going to be done <laughs> bullying my son. My spoiler alert is that our actual due date was tomorrow, yeah. the 29th. But he's got a big head. But then my first OB appointment, I was measuring a head by a day. So they changed my due date. So technically, tomorrow's a due date. Yeah, the thing is, like, typically due, due dates, dates are fake. Due dates are such guidelines. You guys have told me that, but at the same time, we know the exact moment that James's embryo um, got snug. So we have a little bit more of accuracy. We're trying to figure out what we want to eat for dinner. Yeah. And are you going to go into labor any second? No, maybe. We have stuff to eat here, but I just really don't feel like cooking. And we have stuff easy to make, but I want that for, for when the baby gets here. But I guess it could be for any time. Can we watch more of this office episode? Sure, babe. <laughs> Sarah started saying that, joking around. People think that from the show The Office, that the episode called Dinner Party is like well regarded as the best episode of the whole series. However, it makes me so uncomfortable. I don't like it. It's not even in my top ten. No, like, I I would rather skip it. But there are some good one-liners. So we're going to watch some one-liners <laughs> on the YouTubes. So, all Sarah wanted was that sub sandwich. We go to a firehouse. What sub sandwich? Do you want a sub sandwich? Do we talk about that? I think so. So we go to a firehouse, because Sarah was really wanting it. It says it closes at 9. We stroll up there at 8. It's closed. closed. So we started driving down the street because we were just like, literally, we had nowhere, we had, did not know we're where we were going to go. We're in Maitland. We've never been to Maitland. And we just saw this little place called Cappy's, Cappy's on, on the other side of the road. Cappy's Sub. I have a taste for subs, so I was like, oh, there's a sub place. And mm. this, it looks Straight out of Chicago. so <laughs> up our alley, like, how have we never come here before? Well, it's nothing. I, they do have a veggie sandwich, but we did not order plant-based items. Oh yeah, nothing we got. So maybe that's why we've never been here before. <laughs> well, um, I ordered fried mushrooms, which might be vegan. I doubt it because the batter, but maybe the French fries. But I'm excited. I'm hungry. It's I, like it's, it's late. It's eight thirteen. We've got a story for you. <laughs> we do have quite the story, but we'll tell you after we eat. Wow. She literally told me just now that she didn't mark. Mine are sandwiches because 
you could substantially tell the difference between the sizes. Oh <laughs> I got a super sub. Now look, they gave us a million napkins. They, these, That's great. These are our kind of people. We got some french fries, and we got fried mushrooms, Ooh. which I worked at a, a, a hot dog, burger, a very much so beef, like this. very much like this in Chicago when I was 16. I and mean, that's actually, I used to hate mushrooms pre-plant-based, but I fell in love with fried mushrooms. Um, we might have to get a hot dog for the road. Because <laughs> they're looking so good? Just to, try, just to see. You're getting I, your so, own, I'm getting So they're, I got what they're known for, which is the khaki beef. Um, and I asked him if they've ever had a Chicago beef. He knew your tattoo. He, he saw my tattoo and those you from Chicago. And I was like, how'd you know? Was, yeah, and then like, I saw the tattoo and I was like, oh, sorry, it's kind of newer. It just looked like it. Oh, Sarah. Hope that doesn't hurt your belly for labor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now that is a sub. That is not vegan. Is your belly gonna be okay? Uh, my belly's not gonna be okay, but I'm also not about to push a child out of my body. Peter's gonna announce a hot dog and a corn dog to go. I wanna show you how cute it is in the little seat. The dining room is closed. But very Chicago-esque. It's been here since the 60s, so that's cool. So you just went with the hot dog. My belly already hurts. <laughs> <laughs> with grilled onions. Um, they have uh, hand-dipped milkshakes and root beer floats. And so we'll for sure be back. Yeah, this is a good, this is a good find. We love trains. And it's very common to get stopped by a train in our hometown. But I just want to show you what a Florida train is. The music has been, been awesome. Killer. We got some Lincoln Park, some, some Paramore, Paramore. some oldies right now. The anticipation of this train. I think there was two passengers and then the engine. But like you would literally in our hometown get stuck by trains. Of like 25 carts. More than that. I guess it's more so about the time. Like the trains are slow and they're like big freight trains that like sometimes have you stop for like over a half hour. Alrighty, here it is as we pull away. It's like super simple. Yeah. I want to open a place like this one day. Holy hot dog. <laughs> it smells really good. I wish we had some sport peppers on that bad boy. Alrighty, we're gonna get Eve stuff packed. It's like a happy and sad moment. Yeah. Evie, do you wanna go in the car? You wanna go see Padme and Aurora? Oh. And Katie? Oh. There's more doggies too. What do you uh, think? I wanna get our stuff ready. Yeah. Okay. And we got some explaining to do. We're sad, so we're watching New Girl. But we're also ha we're sad because we miss Eve. Mm -hmm. But we're happy because we hope to go to the hospital soon. <laughs> Let's spill the beans. Well, it's having an Oreo party. Cats out of the bag. We were supposed to be induced. Wait. Let's take it back a step further. Okay. We were supposed to have a C-section six days ago. We talked about that. I know, I just want to like, it preface that like, we're very impatient. <laughs> the way we've described it is like, the days have still been going fast, but it just like feels like the day keeps on being pushed back and back and back. And that rang true um, when we received a call yesterday from the hospital, letting us know that they were behind on inductions. Yeah, so we had a scheduled when when the C-section got canceled mm -hmm. uh, two weeks ago, we had a induction scheduled for today. Our at 11, due date. Our actual due date. So yeah. we were like pumped. It's the twenty eighth. Then we got a little call around six thirty p.m. last night, and some little Betsy girl calls. Oh my gosh, I thought that was. A, I thought my phone was calling. It was ringing, but it wasn't. So Betsy calls and says, "Guess what?" All of our in scheduled inductions are taking too long, so we don't know if we're going to have a bed for you. Yeah. So they said, don't come in. I was supposed to go in at 11 a.m. today. Um, 
and so Peter ended up working today. Um, I napped. I think I was just like trying to make the time go by faster. <laughs> um, called around two. They said there were six people ahead of me. Told us to call back at seven. Called, told, told us to call back at seven when like the night shift came in and they reevaluated things. Called then. Um, they didn't say how many people were ahead, but they did just say they were figuring out the new prioritization. The reason that we're being induced is more so about his size and not so much as about our health. Like, size is a factor in health, um, but we could see there being people who are prioritized over us. So... So here's the kicker. As Sarah's on the phone, I was like, hey, psst. If they don't know when we're gonna go in, at what, can you ask them, like, at what time do we just go to bed tonight? And what time, like, will they call tomorrow? So Sarah right. asked and they were like, oh, like, we're not gonna call back tomorrow or tomorrow morning. Like, we're just gonna, we're gonna call you back. And Sarah's like, in like the middle of the night? And they were like, yeah, if a bed becomes available in the middle of the night, like, she was like, I was calling people in the middle of the night last night. Yeah. And then we were like, wait. Now we literally could get a call at like 2 in the morning. They can be like, hey, Brooke Hartz, we got a bed open. Can you come over? Right. So we're truly just waiting now. We decided to bring Eve to Katie's just so that she's situated and good and that we don't have to worry about bringing her somewhere after we get the call from the hospital. We can just go straight to the hospital. So it's just, so it's funny. It's like, like we've had delays in the past for many reasons. <laughs> What's one more? Cysts, HSGs, mm -hmm. Just schedule timing. things. Um, yeah. So yeah. One well, more. One more. So we're very, very Just. close. <laughs> <laughs> so now, like, baby watch is like really real. I mean, like, we could not get a call tonight. That's a thing. It's yeah. Like, I'm I could also being go into hopeful. labor. They said if my water breaks or if my contractions are consistent. To go in, I've, I've been having contractions for days and days and days, but just nothing consistent yeah. enough. Um, but that's why we wanted to bring Eve to Katie yeah, because so they're gonna watch that. Eve for us, and so we were ner like I, we were too nervous. If you look at like where the hospital is, where we live, where Katie lives, we didn't want to like have to get a call at two in the morning and us have Katie drive all the way to our place we just, just to get it Eve. Wanted to be as calm and as like have our like good time with her today, um, and it not be so rushed. So, so hopefully, that. hopefully, we, we will get a call. In oh, the next tonight. eight hours. Um, hopefully in the next hour. Yeah, that would be really good. Yeah. So. So in the meantime, we're gonna have a Oreo party and. Yeah, I'm probably. I might edit. I might. I tried making a sandwich of my of gingerbread Oreos, and I wanted to take one of the red Oreo centers Ooh. off, but the red ones don't peel off as good. Why don't you make the other one in the red? Because I wanted two gingers oh, and one red, but I can make two <laughs> reds and one ginger is what you're saying? Two and two. I really thought our baby would share a birthday with three of their cousins. Is it past midnight? Eight minutes. Okay. I'm not having him in eight minutes, so officially not the 28th. I really thought it was going to be today. No, no, no. Sorry. It's eight minutes past, so. Oh, so yeah. Officially. It isn't the 28th. I mean, he could still take more than 24 hours. Once induction starts, but did you have you seen the 28th daily message? No, but I saw somebody comment that said <laughs> I peeked ahead at the 28th and think that it's going to be a sign. What is it? The quote for the 28th is by Terry Gulmetz. Yippee! It's a new day, a special day. It's today. Oh, that would have been perfect. <laughs> that would have been the title of the vlog and everything. Yeah. Hey, but if, you know what? what? What if we get to the 30th and the 30th was like it's an awful day? Lapika Head, Glenn Clark. It's a pretty good message <laughs> to be born on. There are two things that we forgot to mention this entire vlog. What? You get to say one of them if you remember one of them. Well, the, what, the first one sparked my memory? No. Okay, then. Well, make oh, sure yeah. we're six days away, right? Mm -hmm. Six days away from election day? No? Mm -hmm. Yes, six days away from election day. Make sure you plan. Also, we're at a point where they're saying now, at the post office, if you're doing absentee or mail-in, that um, the post office isn't reliable six days out now. Right. So if you drop can, off. drop it off at the secure drop box on your 
county election board's website yeah. will give you an address. Or just take the safety precautions to vote in pub in public. In person. In person. <laughs> and the time, because sometimes you will wait. The other thing, we're only two days away now from the latest season of Somebody Feeds Phil. Oh my gosh. Which I've already verified. I remembered our password for Netflix. Because you know, like sometimes you have a thing like Apple TV where like you forget the password because it's been logged into your Apple TV or device or whatever. Been, like, and you have no idea what it is. I remembered and I verified earlier by downloading the app on my phone. We're going to have a, our phones and a MacBook with us. So mm -hmm. if we're in the hospital cell on Friday, we can watch Phil from the hospital. Yay! Somebody feed, somebody feed Phil. Somebody. Alrighty. Somebody feed Phil. It's good to be home. We really thought we'd be in the hospital Who today. Thinks? But... Who honestly thinks we're going to be able to fall asleep right now? It's 12 11 in the morning. And we literally may get a, a phone call at any moment. I keep on thinking that we're gonna be like filming and like my phone's gonna ring. Oh. It's good to be Alrighty. home. Alrighty, it's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.